What's going on, everybody? My name is and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Life is Strange Before the Storm. Last time, we had messed around here, and I freaking messed up my Principal Wells retorts. I failed, I was an idiot, and I messed up. But here we go, doing some more gigi gigi gigi. Fire, fire, ro fire walk rocks, Principal Wells rocks. <laughs> is that going to be, like, sarcasm? Look at that. I don't... Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Worlds. Those rocks. Is that like a microphone? Achievement unlocked. Something rock. I did it. I wonder if Wells is going to appreciate my art. We did it. Together! Forever! Hey, so much as a swimming pool. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? So no drugs. Winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. <laughs> is that like Hulk Hogan? Oh, yeah! Good. Forest fire. <gasps> but fire's so pretty. It is. Do you prefer fire safety? This reminds me of fire watch. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to Welcome each their own. Don't miss out on the most important meal of the day! Treat your body right through the stress of the finals we eat. Oh man, now I want delicious, delicious breakfast foods. No, no, Chloe. <laughs> Class no, is back no. the other way. Alright, uh, it's parking. Hmm. I wonder when and how Chloe achieves her, uh, gets her truck. So remember that was like, you know, it was like the first thing we saw of Chloe in the first game. Alright. Uh, talk to all these other scrubs. Fountain. Hey, fam! The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Dang, future! Girl, you crazy. Victor oh, Victoria, hello. Uh, Victoria Chase. <laughs> I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Oh, that's where it happened. Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Dick. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Wow. You don't say. <laughs> that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Uh. Let's see what she says about this. Wow. The Young Artist Award. <laughs> oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work, and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. So, the Beacon's putting me up on the front page I of the lifestyle more sass, section. Chloe. Who cares? I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. You hang with the Vortex Club? What a loser. I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. Courted. I'm That's not an sure. interesting way to use it. should be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. And I guess that's true because that's not what I ended up being Wait. after. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. You murdered a man. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are hey. so funny. Oh, she, no, take me seriously though. Though. Yeah. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, oh God, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. Well, Spoiler, so you're she jealous dies. of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Yes. I am not jealous! Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Ugh. Have to touch your homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be <laughs> rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? I think Illuminati you? means consequences. I don't remember. Help me. Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, you dick. Look at that strut. Get out of here, asshole. Oh, good shit. Good shit. All right. I regret nothing. Flowers. 
Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Anything uh, else over here? Don't look like it. Wildfire danger. Danger! This do makes being do high do sound do like do a bad thing. Fire danger rate today. Low, wow. Low to high, to very high to severe to extreme to catastrophic. Jesus. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Goes from that, yes. I especially like this last, these last two. Absolutely stunning. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True. Oh. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. I guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. It's Prescott. Oh, wow. Interesting. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Snap. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? That's me anymore, am I? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? <laughs> wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad sucks. lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. God, Are you serious? I'm going to do you a favor. Sorry. <laughs> you can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh, no. I got to turn that off. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. You are very annoying. Step in. Yeah, why not? The only way fun. to stop a bully is to be aggressive. That, that, that's I've got to sadly kind now. of true. <laughs> Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Um. Yeah. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, You're nothing. seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Uh. How about picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. Oh. Such a crazy freak. Mind your own Oh baby. my god, this is so good. Uh, I'm crazy, that's true. Uh, What's crazy is that you, you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? A piece of your bromance? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. There's a there already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. That was <laughs> Samantha. Good shit. Wow, okay. I love this back talking stuff. It's really fun. This time. Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Dick. Are you alright? Oh, good job, security. Running in just in time. Thanks for up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? Just doing your job for you, asshole. <laughs> no problem, Skip. It's like, she's like one of those people, like security guard, just see Charles like, ah, damn it, I won't do anything. Hopefully it'll fix itself. Don't go in the school. Mama. Mama. Glad we talked. Me too. Now you're doing your best. Love you. I can't wait for her to hear I yelled at David. There's new stuff here. <laughs> Drew, oh, Mike, Mikey and Steph, oh god. Has not kissed ever. Has kissed girls. <laughs> I can never say if Steph's the coolest or nerdiest person in all of Blackwell. Maybe Bayouth? 
She's definitely a queen of indoor kids with all their weird role-playing games and sci-fi shit. I guess her dad is the video editor. She makes some sweet cash by selling bootleg DVDs. Don't knock the hustle. I'm pretty sure Steph does all the backstage checking work for the school plays, which checks out. Another thing for Steph, she's into girls and she doesn't give a shit about what anyone else thinks about it. Mikey North is captain of Steph's fan club, and the two of them can be found huddled around the tables, rolling 20-sided dice whenever they have the chance. In, if life were one of those 80s movies they, Dad used to watch, Mikey would be the nerd that the jocks uh, gave wedges to, wedgies to. In the real world, if someone messed with Mikey, they'd be deep shit. Mikey's older brother is Drew North, Black Hole's Alpha Jack. Oh, interesting! Sixth level flaming gauntlet of awesomeness. Truth is, Mikey is one of the few genuine, uh, generally nice people in this place, even though every once in a while he said... Uh, he says something that reveals a darker outlook in life. No idea where he gets it from. Maybe Star Trek? Okay. Oopsies. Oopsies. We won't done here. Alright, Drew. Drew is Mikey's older brother, and two of them could be any more different. Drew is a legit jock, the type that spends hours a day in the gym, and has nicknames for his biceps. I've never been to a Bigfoot's game, but I- But he's actually pretty really good at throwing stuff into other stuff or whatever. Ball goes into that. Ball goes into butts, pretty sure. <laughs> Mike, Mikey told that Drew's planning to go to college and got an athletic scholarship, which is good because their family's even poorer than mine. Their dad was one of the fishermen who lost their job because of the Prescott Corporation. So you might imagine this put Nathan on Drew's shit list. <clears throat> Not a good list to be on. In the war between a meathead and a shithead, does anyone win? Anyway, I don't think Drew's a really bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't know. It's like this is two completely different planes of existence that happen to be in the same school. Happy to keep it that way. Why is this? It's so weird to like scroll through this menu. Like, I'm just trying to get to Nathan. It's went back to Chloe for some reason. Nathan Prescott is a golden child. Prescott's a crazy boy. He's the oldest, wealthiest, and most peaceful, powerful family. As they love reminding everyone, Nathan's dad does something not a not a cool related. Um, I think it has something to do with murdering baby seals and turning them into death rays for the military. But I can't remember the details. Whatever the case, there's a lot of people in this town who hate the Prescotts, including all the fishermen who put who were put out of work. And you don't want to mess with the fishermen. They smell. Nathan is odd. He's extremely privileged, yet dark and brooding. Even though he is a dick, I can't help but feel bad for him sometimes. He's really just a weird little dude trying to figure shit out. But he has to pretend that all the stuff he's clearly not, like an athlete or a cool kid, you can tell it fucks him up inside. Of course, the best cure for feeling bad for Nathan is to actually talk to Nathan. Then you remember what a wonderf wonderfully uh, punchable guy face those Prescott's uh, jeans gave him. Yeah. Oh good, we have another one of these. Um... Do this one already? Yeah, we read. Why does it say there's a new thing here? I'm so this, this is so confusing. I swear that. Uh, there you go, Max. You know how things with mom seemed like they couldn't get any worse. Ha! The sad truth is, I suddenly have to choose between being nice or being honest with her because I can't be both. But how can I keep being nice and pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice with mustache? <laughs> if I'm only really concerned about this hostile taking over our house. Today's a toolbox and pot roast. Tomorrow it's. I should stop there for Saturday's take. Honestyville, Niceberg. Um, it seems like I've always been sneaky now, even when I'm trying to help. Um, like slipping money into her purse this morning. And also, mom knows I've been skipping, which sucks, but in a way, it doesn't make me feel better about it. Does that make me a bad person? I don't feel like. Feel bad about fucking off and just relief that I don't have to waste energy to lie about it anymore. On second thought, I'll answer that. Chloe, the no good, very bad person. So the mustache showed me to school today. Yep, that's what my life's become. Even worse is he thought the ride was like, tell me how things are going to be from now on opportunity. I, I shut that shit down real quick, but I have a feeling he's going to run crying to mom about it because that's kind of a little baby, man baby he is. Yep, that's probably true. Um, had a dream about that again. The one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember is after I wake up how much I miss him. I hope that never goes away. The Chloe who wasn't there, or was I? Okay, so I was right. She wasn't there in the crash. She's just like, I don't know, either phasing to another dimension and remembering it that way. Hey, that's the same bike we saw in freaking Chloe's uh, backyard there. Or in front front yard, actually, when we were helping David. Alright, there's our ultimate goal over there. So let's run over here first. I think this is the last thing we gotta do. This place is really big. I don't wanna miss it. Oh, we haven't talked to this guy. Look at this stuff. No, no, no. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Don't Damn, know how bro. that means. Okay. That eye looks sick. What's going on? <clears throat> Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Yeah. Wow. 
No shit. I thought that place was like Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. And... It was cool. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Don't be a dick. Come on now. You can let him finish your story. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. Oh, I really was failing algebra uh, hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll see you in class. I love that group of people back there. It's weird. Can I, can I see them? Whoa. Oh, there they are. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh my god, that looks horrible. Why would they do that? Nice 2D cut. Oh, there's more people. I guess it's not too terrible if you don't look at it too hard. Oh, some of them Need moving. my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding Whoa, it those up like with Mikey somewhere. One frame a second. Jeez. What about cards? Do they just disappear? Oh, they probably don't. Like how it's like the same cards going in circles though. Right, okay, I'm gonna stop. Ah, uh, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Well, let's find out! Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Oh, Good God. morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. <laughs> Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully <laughs> obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. That's cool. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Good luck! Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. Spoiler alert, she does! I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. That's a I weird question to ask Wait, me. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. I just said I want a nap. God. Do you want me to change my mind? I... Oh, she's left-handed. That's interesting. No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Uh... Smokeweed D-Bear? Yeah! Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of Smokeweed tomorrow's leaders. <laughs> why? Uh, Smokeweed the bear, I guess. Uh, but, like, why bear? Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smokeweed the bear? <laughs> <laughs> Only you can prevent ganja fires. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. Right, because it's fire prevention. <laughs> Good shit, good shit. That would be way funnier than I thought it was going to be. What's this? No, okay. Chloe. Class is back right, the other right. way. Oh, look at those terrible cutouts in the background. They're not cut up, but they remind me of like those 2D cut up a while. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. The if Empire. I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? Cool story, bro. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Nerds! Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Yay! Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over mm -hmm. real life. That's my motto. Right, note to self. I watch Blade Runner. Right on. 
Watch the director's hey, cut. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Yeah. Rachel Amber? You're asking Everyone me. Everyone the pig Didn't third. you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Mm, I guess we're not really friends. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. I mean, yeah, I don't <laughs> think it's that weird. Steph has a crush. I don't think it's cool. that weird, you know. You should join her game. You see someone at a concert, yeah. you don't really know, but you go to school. It's like, you gotta, like, right talk now. to them. Thanks, though. <laughs> We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Sure. Why not? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Oh, that, like, flipped the bench. Sheet. You are an elf barbarian. What? <laughs> Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. Sounds like shit. I know. I'm good. Rebellious right. and kind of. Let's get started. Uh, we were blonde both hair. famous elf. heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. Wow. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Cool story, bro. I raise my staff to you in greeting. This is like the ultimate cool I story, am bro. Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Barb. <laughs> Let's go with Barb. Barb. <laughs> no, 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 no. Steph. Hey, give Barb a chance, okay? <laughs> Come on, we gotta go the with two stupid. Heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Oh, uh, my name is Barb. Let's well, made a man kebab, a <laughs> kebab. <laughs> Owen stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the unscarred. And north and to the right, do you go? there's a Straight giant... Ahead, right? We're supposed Don't to kill I... the Dur. Dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Ah, <sighs> warlord's time, prison camp, training ground. Let's go to the prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager. Calling out for you to free them. I'm sure Only they'll be fine. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, uh, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate him. Intimidate. Bread. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> what do you say? Amazing. Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. Which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. Yes. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice oh, no. and close. You don't have anything to play he off of, though. Back, oh, his you. scaly skin quivering in fear. <clears throat> what do you say? Dragons are pussies. Meat puppet shoes. Ah, yeah. I wiggle my hand. Hey, 
dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, you and it. then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. I think that sounds you. great. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Make you taller, I can make you sure, dive all in. Huh? You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. Yay. Uh, dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. <laughs> Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. <laughs> then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, <laughs> wow. That was... <laughs> I'm going to give you a plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. This is way too long. I didn't expect this to actually 20 minutes. Urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? More train. All right. Well, this obviously is gonna take a little while, so we'll finish this up in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and if you're ready. Next time we'll uh, go to the training grounds and then the warlord's tent. Cause why the hell not? Talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.